Right fellow freelancers, it's build time and today we're going to be going over another Colossus build. So this build will make you a combo machine. It is a pure damage DPS build. Your Vessa's arc will remain indefinitely on and by that I mean it will never turn off. Once you've activated it, you don't ever have to worry about it. You don't believe me? Check this out. Just look at that meter. Now you believe me, right? Now you want to know how I've done this. And believe me, you pretty much will attack everything and anything that moves throughout the whole expedition. It's a pretty beastly build. The key to this build, you need 120% L1 speed. Now how you attain this is entirely up to you. For now, I attain this through the use of a sigil. However, do keep in mind, this is also not a defensive build. It's a pure offensive build. Now the use of a sigil I have here is for the gear speed which gives me 30% and this makes all the difference I need in order to maintain this. So there are a few pieces I'm still missing and I will go over that in the actual video which will actually enhance this build even further. However as I don't have these yet or have the right inscriptions I can't use them and therefore I'm using the ones I have now but I will highlight these as we go along. So currently, the Renewed Courage here is only being used for the skill speed. If I had enough skill speed, this would be replaced by the Siege Breaker. Ideally, you're looking for something like this which I have yet to attain, but still, in this state, the build works great. The idea is, the Siege Breaker and the Sentinel's Vengeance will be additional primers. Ralnas here is also a good option if you want to go the fire route, but I prefer not to use fire, but it's still an option and can be quite deadly. The Vengeance is great for priming for more damage. So when you're looking at the weapons, ideally you want to go with Siege Breaker and Sentinel's Vengeance. If you don't have one of these, you can also use Rolnaz, which is also another good prime. But if the weapon itself has a speed element to it that boosts your gear speed for your Javelin, so it's an all-round speed, not the cog, but the actual Javelin image, this is the one you want to use in order to maintain that 120%. 120% is required in order for this build to work. Right, for support you want Shield Pulse for extra defense. Sadly I don't have one with enough speed so I'm having to use Warcrow which doesn't work well with this build but for now will do because right now you're doing a lot of DPS, a lot of damage and you don't want to be attracting the boss's hate towards you because you will go down. The more you don't have the boss's attention the better and the more damage you can do but believe me this build will do a metric ton of damage. Component wise, you want grand entrance for the additional support time so you have that extra bit of 33% more defense as it's up. And catalytic overdrive for the 50% combo damage. Now this is really important because you will be a comboing machine and any extra damage is great damage, right? So we want that extra 50% combo damage. The last item we want is shock treatment which gives you 5% more ordinance damage with its perk, adding more damage the more you get hit. The rest is pretty much for HP. Do not use universal components with this build, you will die very easily at GM 2 and 3. So you have been warned, this is a really good build, but you want HP to make sure you can take a few hits before you're in trouble. For the ordinance launcher, you want Vassar's Arc, naturally as the build is centered around this component. And for Heavy Assault Launcher, you want Solvent Green. Now remember how I said Catalytic Overdrive gave you 50% combo damage? Well, Solvent Green gives you an additional 200% more combo damage. So right now we're sitting at 250% more combo damage plus whatever your inscriptions have. So with this, you're running around with a 250% overall combo damage. You have two Venom Primers in your Vengeance Grenade Launcher and your Solvent Green, which is the Venom Spitter. You also have additional priming methods through the Siege Breaker or the Ralnars if you want to go down that route. And your Ordnance Launcher, your Vassar's Arc, will be on full time. Now just check out this clip as it's playing along. I'll let it play out for a, about 30-40 seconds so you can clearly see that you know the build does work. You can see in the bottom corner that it's just not ticking down. It's going down to 10 and then back up and 10 and then back up. Your ordnance launcher will never turn off. I've run through complete contracts. I've run through strongholds. I've run through everything start to finish and it's not come down. So this is a really, really solid build. It is a kind of lazy build because everything 
will be combo that's primed if you have a couple of storms there you'll be comboing everything and believe me with this build it also means that your ultimate is going to be recharging through the roof you will be firing ultimates left right and center there's no reason to hoard it because anything that's primed you run remotely close to it you're comboing every combo means you're going to pretty much be filling that gauge once the gauge is filled just pump it out again you are a ultimate machine if you're fighting something difficult and you want to make sure you've got a bit of recovery time save your ultimate use it when your health is low get your max health rebuild it as soon as possible with the ads around you done just know that as soon as your ultimate goes down the more you combo the faster you refill your ultimate gauge and the faster you refill your ultimate gauge the more health you have and the more damage you output this is a seriously good dps build but sadly it's not a defensive build if you're looking for a defensive build my previous build video is the one you want but if you're looking to play colossus as a combo machine that has the vessel's arc always on this is the build you want to go with. Try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Believe me, if you're a Colossus, you will not be disappointed. Right everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, if this actually helped you in your build ways, drop a like, subscribe, don't forget to share, hit that notification bell, and until next time, remain legend.